Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this tutorial on Adobe After Effects. In this tutorial, we will talk about creating animation using keyframes. Let's get started by creating a composition. Let's give it a name, animation comp. We can leave all the settings as is. Let's set the duration to 30 seconds. We will select a light blue background color that resembles a sky. So we have the composition. Let's create some clouds. For that, we should pick the shape tool to draw some ellipses and circles. Set the fill color to white. Set the stroke type to no stroke. If you have it in some other setting, hold down Alt key and click to get the correct stroke type. It should be a no fill stroke type. Let's draw some ellipses and circles. Remember to hold shift to draw circles. Select the same shape layer if you want to add shapes to the same layer. If you created shapes in a new layer and you want to add it to other layer, you can do a cut and paste like I'm doing now. Let's rename this layer to cloud set one. Okay, let's create one more set of clouds. Now we have all the ellipses in the same shape layer. Name this cloud set two. Now it's time to animate. For this, open the small arrow in the layer selected. and open the arrow that says transform. Click on the stopwatch symbol next to the position. You will notice a keyframe, a diamond dot placed. So that's the keyframe. So while the time marker is in the keyframe position, change the shape object to where we want it to be and scrub the time marker to a different location in timeline and move the cloud set to the desired destination. A keyframe gets created automatically. So when we hit preview, we can see that it creates a nice animation of changing position values between the two keyframes. We can use this with any set of parameter values to animate. So we have adjusted the duration to keep it short and also we can zoom in a bit to locate the keyframes easier. Let's animate the other set of clouds. Click the stopwatch next to the position. A keyframe gets generated automatically. Then move the clouds to a different location and create one more keyframe. So now the keyframe for cloud set one and cloud set two to make it in sync click the triangle button if you don't want to depend on the automatically created keyframe click the diamond button to place a keyframe okay this is how we create a simple animation in after effects the same procedure can be used with rotation scaling effect parameters text photos etc to create sophisticated animation sequences now let's create a sudden break effect with this cloud set 
we will create a couple more keyframes to achieve that. You may notice that a keyframe gets placed automatically when you move the clouds. Let's preview that. To create more realistic sort of movement, we can select the keyframes and say easy ease or press the F9 key. Let's preview this animation now. Looks much better. We could adjust the keyframes to create a sudden break effect. We zoom in a bit and adjust the timing of the keyframes to create the sudden break effect we wanted to. Looks good. However, we still want to create a rapid stop effect. We can achieve more control by using a curve editor. So let's select all the keyframes and click on the curve editor. So we will get a curve like this. Make sure you select the speed graph, not the value graph. Let's select the speed graph. In the speed graph, we can select the keyframes and adjust the curve handles to create the movement we need. So we are kind of getting that chase effect. We can still adjust the curves and preview a few times till we get the result we wanted. We can zoom in by holding Alt button and scrolling the mouse wheel. Okay, this is good enough, but we will try to make the chasing cloud hit the boundary and stop. For that, we will adjust the position as needed. So I select the keyframe. If I'm not at the right position, I will click the triangle buttons to snap to the right keyframe and move the clouds. I can jump to the subsequent keyframes by using the left side triangle and the right side triangle. Okay, this looks good. Now let's create some wiggle path with the other cloud set. Click the button next to add and select wiggle paths. This brings us a set of parameters to adjust so that we get the desired effect. Let's move the time marker to a suitable frame so that we can see the cloud set clearly. Let's try increasing the size and preview. Hmm, looks like a sea urchin. So let's keep the size at 10 or 12. We can tweak the other settings a little bit. Maybe the detail we can reduce to five or six. This should be okay. Let's preview that.
okay this is fine let's create a different type of wiggle with the other cloud set so this will be a wavering motion we will use expressions to position parameter if it is not visible alt click the stopwatch to bring the expression settings let's set the expression to wiggle within parenthesis we should supply two parameters the first parameter denotes how many wiggles happen per second also known as frequency the second parameter is the amount of movement also known as amplitude of the wavy motion let's see how 1 comma 50 behaves let's preview that Well, this looks good, but we can change a few values and try. There is no right or wrong here, so we can play around with the values until we get the desired effect. We could try creating wiggle for scale as well. So alt click and change the expression to wiggle and we can play with the values here as well. Wow, that's a lot of wiggle. Maybe we can change things a bit in the expression. Well, this looks good for a cartoon effect. In this tutorial, we saw how to do clouds animation using keyframes, adjusting keyframes in the curve editor to create swift movements for cartoon effects. Using expressions, we made some wiggle effects as well. Now let's look at rendering the final video of our composition so that it can be shared in YouTube or other social media platforms. From the composition menu, we can choose a few options for rendering. We can use pre-render to group the composition, preview for a low resolution render, and for the final rendering, we can choose add to render queue. In the render queue, we can choose the video format, audio format, resolution, and so on. In most cases, we can leave the default settings. Select the file name for rendering if you do not want the default file name and location. Hit the render button to start the rendering process. Once the process completes, open the video file. And this is how the final render looks like. Let's end this tutorial and we will meet you in another tutorial. Bye-bye.